We got a great game. It's OG facing off against BTJ Storm. It's the core winner Wyvern, which means it's going to be that support Lena once more for Jerax. So very tricky coming yeah. near the end of that draft. Uh, Jerax, you see there, comes and steals a regen room when he had almost zero mana left, but Seb left alone in the lane. This is going to be a bit of a burn. Oh, Rezo there, wants it. Ford, Fort Rezo thinking about it and drawing first blood here. He does bottle this one, maybe thinking about popping it to tank through the tower and with the fissure route as well. They found themselves Topson. He's just dead. Nice rotation there. And uh, in response, though, SVG left alone down bottom. Oh, maybe the stick. They're chasing. Kind of SVG is still eventually going to die. So then maybe later on they can set up for a gank there as Seb. Oh, MSS. Just gonna CP away. Oh, but the ice path level. And now they found themselves the winner, Wyvern. Will it be a kill? Another one for resolution as. Now it's in some trouble. They don't expect Jerex behind the tier one tower. Now you are also trying to run away. This is the power of Chen. You can sort of dive in there with these creeps. Like if Lena's trying to save herself during engagements with the Yule Scepter, it's a very easy follow up. The combo with the Fisher that we know. Oh, Thompson on the wrong side of the Fisher, but it might still be enough. SVG again hitting there on the ice patch, trying to chase him down. Can they kill off Thompson? They do with the bugs. Rezo gets it. And now, maybe thinking for more, he gets the Bounty Rune. Resolution, a player known for showing up on the big stage, is going to get hit by that Light Strike Array. Does, he'll think about diving in for this one. This guy is crazy. He's going to find the kill to Nocho. Time lapses away. Double kill for Rezo. And now they want to get something to return. As SVG maybe gone a bit too far. They managed to find another Light Strike Array. He is down very low. The Centaur stopped to get the separation. But Rezo's not done. He's going back in. He's got full man. He's got full HP. He's going to take down Jerex possibly. Oh, wait. A great Light Strike Array. And then the runaway. He's actually just Twinkle oh, Rezo. Toes, but is eventually going to die. Weaver's the only one. In fact, he's mid. He's going to find a Zeus by himself. Can they actually do this? Thompson, nobody else is around to help him out. And the chase forward, they do throw out the hand of God. Are they going to be able to keep him alive? Time lapse run away. Rezo again. Nine, one, and two on this Weaver. And has been doing a great job. I think all of OG have done a very good job of just like spreading apart BGJ Storm right now because they're not growing their lead as much as you would expect from the side of BGJ right now. And if Anna escapes this, it's just going to be another good moment for them. They're trying to use that first Blink Dagger and they'll catch the Wyvern, which is a core this match. I mean, possibly more. Jerex comes down the stairs. Going in this and taking this fight. I mean, they find MSS. He's already got his Blink Dagger. He's going to die. Anna thinking that they can make a kill happen. And Resolution, they've got the bugs out. Going to spot on. They throw out another Light Strike Array, but possibly in some trouble now. Thompson up on the high ground. They jump forward with Yawar. Finds the Repl as well, trying to deal the damage out onto him. He does get the Doppelganger away, though, for the moment. Now in retreat, but they're going to focus down Yawar and kill him off. A great fight for OG. OG kind of, they're bringing a couple up here, but I don't know if they realize that the rest of the BGJ Storm are in the area. The Echo just lands immediately onto Seb. And No-Tail now with limited mana because he used the Medallion, is going to die. Yeah, if one of these Weaver illusions happens to cause something, that could be a problem. But they actually just smoke right past it, use the vision. They spot out Yawar right at the get-go. He doesn't have any mana to pop his ulti either, so no damage over time. They pop the BKB. Rezo trying to deal with the rest of OG, though. Taking down Big Daddy No-Till. He's going to die. On the other side, Yawar's making some objects. They find the Echo Slam as well, isolating and controlling Ana. But he is going to be able to get the DK out of there. And the Winter's Curse, just to try and keep him back, it does mean that he's going to be hitting his teammate. Engagement while the other teams fight 4v4. Without PL, they're not nearly as strong. Well, and with PL, they're able to kill Snake King solo potentially as he just needs to run out of there. They're on the ice map and now on a isolate. They've got the impetus shots coming out as well, but they're draining the mana from Snake King so he can't throw out that many more. Popping the illusions onto the Jakira to secure their retreat. VGJ Storm for the moment trying to stream forward. See if they can find a kill on the Thompson. Rezo pops the time lapse to run away and they're going to be able to find the kill on the Thompson. Nice play there, but Ana still the one that they need to deal with. He is so hard to kill. They do find the real one. Oh, and yes, they get the ice pack as well. Ana starting to fall. Rezo gets the kill. And now there's no winner's curse. So many of these big ultis used in the previous engagement. And they're chasing the boat down as well. They've got one on the other side. Seb just trying desperately to get away. But MSS has him in his sights. And he's going to shadow amulet in front of him. With all the mana drain, all the everything that they've got on hand, Seb eventually going to die. Onto one of the barracks. We'll see if they want to stick around this for This PL is so important. You really want to try and chip at this. So I love this choice. He has the BKB. He has the Aegis. This is worth committing for a melee Rax. Oh, Resolution actually burns through the Aegis. Thompson doing a good job of making sure they can kill him off one time. Yeah, they might have goofed. Oh, no. They are going to have to retreat now and actually get the lift up on the MSS as well. This can't be good is the call from Thompson as he realizes. Might be able to find that kill on MSS and they will take him down. Back for the Scotty after the fact. 
So SVG is going to throw down a macro power to push out these illusions. Oh, SVG though, he's in trouble here in the mid lane, and at the same time, they'll bottom. And SS, they have the punches, Jarek's gonna die, and simultaneously, they do take down SVG. Still a minute and a half till Roche is capable of respawning. Yeah, so now the team gonna be punished for these uh, side side lane supports getting killed, but... MSS, he's prepped, already towed him, but the vision is there. He found Hobson, he's done so much damage, and the rest of OG not really in position to help him out. They're trying to tear through this, guys, but there's going to be the Winter's Curse to follow it up. Do they have any chains down the Centaurs? Moving into position, they're able to find resolution. They get the second one as well, they find a good one, but the angle is safe. It's the time lapse off, they saved the day yet again. On and now on the run, trying to get the heck out of here, but they are isolated, they are killed. Great play at Seb, just gonna coldly embrace himself, just wants to hug to stay away from the damage coming out from Vichy J Storm. It's one of the best feelings in Dota when you're just this Earth Shaker sitting on the side, MSS just lying in wait in the river for his perfect moment. Those creeps all just sitting right on top of the PL. A massive amount of damage. He did the most in that team fight for the squad. 2,332, a large portion of that coming from that Echo. Now a 13k lead, you are on the high ground. They want a second tier 3 here, and maybe even some chip damage at that mid. But Rezo's busy chasing heroes. Big Daddy No-Tail, again gonna be found, and snaking there with the impetus shots. They might need to buy back on this PL if they wanna say, actually, no, they're doing a good job of holding up for the moment. Thompson, punched, Fissure, caught. But there's going to be the Glimmer Cape to keep him alive. As the buildings start to take the damage, they go for the glyph and they're going to go for the stun. Thinking about chasing for more OG, a lot of defensive options. It looks like they're set on just giving this one up. Nice strike array, they have everything. Laguna Blade as well, he's alive on nothing, but Thompson takes it. Now focusing back for the tier 3 tower, Vichy J Storm, they're doing a great job of holding off and Resolution hitting his partner there. They do pop the BKB to try and get the runaway. Again, VGJ Storm, maybe a little bit of overextension, but they did at least get the melee bear. The big stage back into it now as they try and take down Roshan and MSS. Shadow Blade forward. He's trying to find a good angle here, but there's the vision. Oh, okay, they bundled up. Nice path as well, out. There's MSS in the area looking for the opening. He fires the echo. Can he take down Roshan? He gets it. On of those secures the Aegis. Thompson kills off MSS. It looks pretty, but only for a second. Resolution though, they buy back on MSS again. Seb coldly embraced, they pop the BKB. Ana trying to tear into him, he does still have this Aegis. There's gonna be the Manta to take off the dual breath and the chase down as well. Oh, the they got him path. controlled and there's the Aegis down. Yeah, and this is the problem, they have great follow up too. They have the Fisher to start and oh. another Ice Path in just a moment. Do they have the damage? Yes, indeed he do, the Ana going down again. No buyback, 80 seconds. MSS, he showed up here. They've got the catapult in the area. They're going to leave that range barracks to Cardi as Yuar moves forward as well as Resolution taking this down. They do have the Yule Scepter lift up. A nice kill there potentially on MSS. He's walking away, but Thompson able to clean up. Stun onto Jerex. Send back as well. This whole time, Rez is an objective gamer up here. He's already taken down the range racks. Peel continues to become a bigger and bigger issue. Trying to find some pickoffs. They're going to find Jerex. At the same time, Rezo is being chased down here. Our oh, month six sneaking is. Does have a lot of heal coming his way, but all the burst in the world. But this is a DD Weaver. Resolution chasing. They drop the dunk onto one. Are they going to be able to kill him off? Kind of isolated, but still getting a lot of heals coming back in. And Rezo Godlike. MSS pops the dust. He still has a heal. Oh, Lumen Rodham is just going to try and run it. Thompson. Resolution has so much damage, but he's going to be killed. OG, find the pickoff. In a lot of ways, this is one of those games where you get so much oh, value. SVG. Oh, he's caught. Throws out the ice path. Is going to stun Ana. Do they have any follow-up, though? The fissure is there, but Ana just gets away with murder. And now the cold embrace turning onto their allies. The Enchantress, a lot of damage being dealt to Beachy J Storm. Lightstrike Ray is not going to be there, but still chasing MSS, thinking about going in. They do find that kill with the Laguna Blade. They've got you are also. SS. Hanging on to that Echo Slam. Where does he decide to drop it? He's so far back right now, trying to find that moment. Needs the help of Rezo this time. The wraparound, they need to get them all grouped together, but OG, they're doing such a good job. They're instead going to try and take down Thompson first. They force him out, but again, the cold embrace. It's so hard to deal with. They have the light streak as well, and now they have buyback on the Dragon Knight. MSS walking forward, finds the Echo on the two. It's not enough. Bad, but they're not going to find it, and he doesn't have buyback either. OG potentially with a position to get themselves some of these objectives. There's no buyback on three of these heroes, and OG streaming for it. Ana gonna take a lane of barracks.
The Spanner Lancer has just gotten to that point. If they can't sync up the damage from Rezo, what's left? As they've waited out in this game, a lift up there with the Yule Scepter, Light Strike Array as well, draining through the mana, the Ice Pack is safe, and he's gone! 100 seconds has to buy back and get back into this fight. OG taking the Tier 3 tower, now moving on to the other barracks. How quickly things change. Oh, you know, a 3,000 gold lead. And it looks like, for now, they are just going to calmly start backing away. Oh, but no, it's set! The Witcher's Curse, they turn it, they find him! Is he going to go down? The Enchantress taking a ton of damage. They have the second light to run. He was down for two minutes! OG, they're taking them down, and this might be GG! So much of that early game played fantastically from BGJ Storm, but they just couldn't keep up the same pace, the same control on the Ana. And now feeling a little bit of love from the crowd. You just know that Phantom Lancer out of point. And OG's lanes are like not obvious at all. They could lane however they want to. Go for the Storm Spirit, yeah. Like, they're really good against the Venom, of course. And uh, we'll see if they're going to be content with the setup down bottom. They will miss out on the banner rune as Anna will just try and get some free hits. But there is a bit of a sandwich coming down on him. Anna may be in some trouble. Slow down. And they're going to be able to find a Earth Shock as well. Doing some damage there to Anna. Are they going to be able to find the kill? The punch. One more is there. Oh. And SVG gets the kill. That means you can also be a bit sneaky here with a Veno. Look at Jarex. Walking forward, Jarex finds the courier. And up top here, you see MSS on this Earth Spirit as they're actually going to punch into Yana. And with the kick, he finds the kill. Snaking did it. Is he going to be able to get out of there in time? He does. He finishes the TP. Yeah, just not enough left there. Of course, that incredibly long cooldown for Jarex on the first Arctic burn. 50 seconds means you only have that Splinter Blast to work with. So, good call on the TP. Mid lane, you can see that pressure again. Yawara just marching back. Bottom lane, Resolution getting a lot of pressure onto him. Snaking realizing that maybe they could take advantage of a little bit of an overextension. They summon the trees, ready to dive. They find the kill. CD on Storm. Very fortunate. Bit risky there from Yuara to go for the rune if he doesn't get it. And then suddenly he misses out on some of his golden experience. But secures it away from Thompson. And you talk about how bad this ends up looking as, oh, well, bottom lane, they do kill off Seb. These lanes are not necessarily going the way that you want. Resolution trying to run out of there as well. They managed to find a bash. Chasing forward for more. MSS with a rolling kick. Can they get Rezo out of there? I don't think so. Splinter Blast no. secures that one, and he's rolled into a problem as well as they are getting the Fairy Fire jump away. Is it enough? They get a double. And now he's coming in ahead of the Chen, too. No oh. tail. The turnaround. Snaking. Able to secure himself one of the pickups. They do have a net now, and Seb showing up as well with the Gale. That should be enough to turn it back around. OG, just a battling lane down here. Um, trying to find an opening for themselves. 2,000 gold lead right now for OG. And Resolution again, just going to be got the Arctic burn. They're doing the damage to him, and nowhere left to go. This is the saddest bear in the world as they just run him down. Oh, Anna taking oh. tower shots, almost lit. Oh, he's going to solve up afterwards, too. Open AI strats coming in here. Yeah, and you can see staying outside of that vision you are. They run Hello. into him going up on the high ground. He's still not level six. Team. And this Chen does a lot of damage as they go for the stomp. No tail low as well. Can they kill him off in time? You are gets the heal. The Sunray. Saving the day. Oh no, now Thompson. Okay, he does get the LSA off. Oh, the long chase. He wants revenge. You are. Gets that return kill. So a big turnaround there. Gonna come out from OG. They run Trying to fight SDG. these bounty rooms. This is a big fight. If they can get it, winner's curse. They're all grouped together. The light strike ray follow up is going to be there. It lands on it too. They have the sun as well, but they turn on you or they find themselves another kill. No answer at all. MSS throws out a four person magnetite. It's doing a lot of damage and they might kill off No Tail, but they lost three heroes. Oh, oh, that ulti! The region! Oh, Nature's Prophet. Wrath of Nature, Snaking, saving it. That Nature's Prophet. Yeah, Snaking needs to do a lot. Topson, Chase, stun. A little bit off the mark. Yule Scepter lift up. That's a light take away. Able to get out of there. He's got four heroes chasing him, and he's just out. And meanwhile, SVG dies. They chase him down by Ana. Ana, a mad troll in the river. The Storm Spirit zip in, looking for anything at all. Does find the kill there. On to Thompson. Not bad. Can they find any more Seb left alone? The rolling board forward. They do throw out that Winter's Curse, though, and now trying to take down the Storm Spirit. They do find the kill. Ana gets him, and now turning onto another. He's buying his bashes, and MSS also caught and killed triple for Ana. So close to trying to turn that all in favor of BGJ Storm with that double damage room on the Storm Spirit, but they ran out of spells on MSS. They want to grab a kill here. These heroes, they are pretty fat, so it's a lot of a bounty now for this Veno. Nature's Prophet shows up as well. They try and get out of there. The Force Staff away. They do kill off Jerex on that Winter Wyvern. 
Meanwhile, they Sam can't even find him. Man. They actually can't get him. MSS is just going to die. The Gale and the Plague Wards, it just drops down and they kill him. Chase forward, though, here in the mid lane, trying to take down Thompson. He gets to the Shadow Amio play. He is walking away. But Back they down bottom. Kill. They're after snaking here and will find him in the tree lamp to help the vision from the Plague Wards. And with that kick, that will push back. The rest of each of you storm. They're still in the area. Looking for the chase. They've got Ana. This is a big kill. If they can get it, they might have Hand of God still to try and keep them alive. The runaway, the stun on the two. MSS doing a good job, but they blow up the troll. Much needed kill. And now looking for more. They take down the Winter Wyvern as well. VGJ Storm. On a little bit of a tear here. And got a great dive off now. Blinking in with the dust. They're going to find Thompson. This is a huge kill as well. All of the cores dying right now for VG, or for OG. They're walking forward to conclude this and take down Roche. There wasn't even a battle. Sap once again out front saying, fight me. And the chase forward for more. Ana gets four staff forward. The good kick from MSS trying to stay alive. No five seconds until Roy Bowler's up and he's just dead. Yeah, they're down in the bottom lane now pushing. There's a shadow amulet here on snaking. But look at Thompson. He's just chasing forward. He gets the lift up onto the SVG Phoenix trying to chase and interrupt. This is the storm here, but it's not happening. On the other side, they do take down No Tail. But they're on your base. And where are you guys at? But uh, they always have to be careful with the split push from the Nature's Prophet as they start hunting through the trees. There's no LSA ready after this Yules. You gotta be careful. Thompson's there. They have the catch, and that's gonna be another one dead. One yeah, after the good. other, they're falling. Ana kind of in no man's lane does have the BKB, gonna try and play around with it, but you are just able to back out and get out of there. They're trying to bash him down. The, the Supernova is down as well. They turn onto it immediately. There's the trees now. They block it down. Ana doesn't have a way to hit it. MSS gets the TP away. OG have lost two already. Winter's Curse. That's a Nature's Prophet starting to tear through this guy as well. And another kill. You are goes down. That would have been huge if he could have gotten out. They find. And OG need to play together. Seb alone in this bottom lane, gonna run into a lot of heroes. You don't want to commit so many onto the Venno, but if you can't get any abilities off, it might be enough. The Winter's Curse, though, to turn it back around. Great play, they're all caught in it. The lights are great, on to four. There's no one being well coming from the Venno. They get the sun off, but it's not gonna last. They turn on to Rezzo, get the bash, find the kill. MSS also in trouble as all of VGJ Storm fall. This is what happens when the pickoff is not on the Lena. Seb, the perfect bait in lane. His team encroaching upon that area. Tough stuff for Richie J Storm. Oh, back at it once again here. Oh, all the way. Taunt. He caught the Earth Spirit as he rolled through. They're all together. He's taunt as well. It's a great combo, but is it good enough? I don't know. The sun's down. The great stun. Can they blow this up? They do kill the egg. Resolution also controlled with the combo bash. The turnaround. Ana trying to take down this Ursa. He is going to get him. Second lane of barracks on their way to the highest placement that this international organization has ever had. The two man electric vortex. They go for the hand of God, though, and this is through backdoor protection. Troll does a lot of damage. We can get those fervor stacks up. Yeah, Snaking is trying. He's catching these waves. Four catapults running at you. I mean, they did it last time without creep, so <laughs> I'm not, I don't think there's a very easy answer. Spread the siege wagons around. The snaking coming from behind. They want to make a play here. They've got the big electric vortex. If they can find the initiation, the hex is there. They're trying to focus Thompson, but the Yule Scepter lift up. He's still living. They have the light trick ready to follow that one if they want, but he's able to get away. Jump over to the side and try and take down No Tail, but he's living. Oh, No Tail still living through that. Two are dead. Storm Spirit's forced to buy back. Resolution is not going anywhere. The slowest, saddest fair that you've ever seen in your life. They do eventually take down No Tail, but eyes on the prize. Ana taking down these barracks. Yawar jumps forward, a two-man electric vortex. They get the slowdown with the attack speed and the light strike array to try and secure their retreat. Are they getting out? Aegis at least will be claimed. There's still a BKB when he comes up, though. And Snake King turned around upon. This could potentially be it if they can take down MSS as well. There's the bash. Three dead. They force the buyback again. They're mega creep. They get the power back. Double kill for Ana. And over and over. Putting in these flag wars, making it very difficult for Rezzo to maneuver, even if he gets into these fights. And the wraparound coming. They're hoping to find something at all. Maybe a team fight win. If they can jump forward and find the Abyssal off the Winter's Curse, but it's not going to happen. They have to roll forward onto two. It's not bad, but off on the side, Thompson with the BKB out, punching people down. They find two kills. That's GG. OG on in the upper bracket. No tell. You can see ecstatic with this victory, moving into the top six for OG. Unbelievable. A little bit of admiration from the crowd. I think they're playing a bit fearless right now. You know, not the highest expectations coming in. What, what really could you hope for? You know, they're a relatively new team. We'll see how much further they can go.